Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name is Adam. So I haven't been out here in the shop doing a whole lot this past week. I've been pretty busy at my other job, having to work some overtime. We've, we've been pretty busy down there and I've been having to stay late. So I haven't really been out here getting a lot done. Uh, I don't have anything really new to show you yet. But what I do have is uh, some video from a job that I did uh, probably about a month ago that I've been waiting to uh, put up and I'm going to use that video for uh, uh, today's Saturday video and I think you guys will enjoy it it was a pretty fun job to do uh, so I'm going to I'm going to throw that into the video today uh, I got a, a couple things here to show with uh, share with you and uh, talk to you about uh, uh, I, I wanted to go ahead and give everybody another thanks of uh, all the support I've been getting. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of uh, messages sent to me uh, still, even since the the, you know, the last time that I that uh, mentioned that to you guys. I've I've had a bunch more, and uh, it's been great uh, reading all those uh, guys. Thank you very much. It's uh it means a lot, and and we really appreciate it. So, you know so. If you don't have a reply from me, it's not because I haven't read it. It's just I've had a lot of them, and I haven't had a lot of time to spend on the computer um, replying to comments and things like that. But uh, I do appreciate all the support and all the comments that's been given to me, and, and uh, a lot of new subscribers too. So that's been really cool. But uh, I got a couple things here to show you. I, I did get one package in the mail today or not today, a couple days ago, but I'm going to show it to you. And so I got something pretty cool here that came in and <laughs> that's it right there. Hopefully you guys can see that good. And you'll probably notice that's another small hammer. This was sent to me by uh, Dennis Brooks. He made this and sent it to me and he, he wrote me a little letter here and he uh, I wasn't gonna read the whole letter here but I, I was gonna I was gonna tell you what he had said um, I'm just starting to learn how to run a lathe and in the process of res resurrecting a 10 inch flat belt drive lathe uh, this time I'm not sure what the brand is so he calls it George um, this hammer is the first project I completed with it. Please have fun with it. He says, YouTube videos that you, Tom, Keith, Mr. Pete uh, make, I have learned a ton. But one thing I have learned is that there is a whole lot more to learn. And thanks for sharing. And uh, keep your grins up, he says. Dennis. So, Dennis, thank you very much. I love the little hammer. And... Uh, Oh, he had mentioned that uh, he, it wasn't, uh, I was wondering if there was a smaller hammer, if someone else had a smaller hammer, so he decided to make one that was smaller and send it to me. And I've got my other one here. Here's the one that uh, Gil made for me, and it was a copy of my original, so you can see it is a little smaller. <laughs> I believe I measured this, and it was about uh, two inches. He's got a, uh, a two-inch long handle on it. And I believe the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I haven't taken it out yet because I want to show you guys first. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off here now. It looks like the head of it is made out of copper. To me that looks like copper. Let's see what you guys think. And he did a good job. Dennis, it looks great, man. I believe he's threaded it into the head there, and uh, he put a little piece of uh, rubber tubing on the handle for you know a little a little grip. So that's cool. So now I've got three little hammers. <laughs> Here's the uh, there was the original that I had I had started all this with. So that's the three little hammers there. So again, Dennis, uh, thanks. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, looks like I'm going to have to uh, maybe make a little thing here on the wall that I can start hanging all my little hammers on. 
So that was uh, that was very cool. All right. So uh, the next thing I wanted to uh, mention was, if you will remember uh, the videos that I had made uh, quite a few months back now, called uh, "Can You Shorten My Pipes?" It was those little exhaust manifold pipes. You know, the ones that went up on a 90 degree basis. All right. Hold on a minute. Uh, we had to uh, take a little break there for a second. I had a phone call. Uh, so what I was talking about was uh, the, the videos I made called Can You Shorten My Pipes? And I had those manifolds that I had cut a section out of, brought them back together and welded them. Well, uh, uh, that man's name is Mr. Sosa. And he came and see me this morning. He's got another little project for me. And he went ahead and brought uh, a couple pictures to uh, show me where those things fit up because he says they fit perfect. So I've got a couple pictures here that I'm going to show you. And this is it here. And you can see that's the, the pipes that I modified. That's one of them. And now you can see how they fit. They go from, uh, you know, this intake to the, uh, the header, I mean the, uh, the exhaust manifold. And this uh, configuration he's building uh, these pipes were too long because they would that was fit up on something else and so he needed them modified to fit there so he wanted me to see this because he says they fit up perfect and uh, everything everything worked out great and that's uh, that's one there and here's a here's another uh, angle of it here also so I wanted to just share that with you guys you know that was uh, that was a uh, very cool to know that that the uh, they worked perfect and uh, I get I was able to give him what he needed so all right well uh, like I said that's gonna be about it for the new content for this week's video but I've got a I got a job I'm gonna go ahead and share it's uh, it's already recorded ready to go so I'm gonna throw this into the video and uh, and let it roll so uh, we'll see you guys later Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam. Got my next job here in front of me. And I uh, wanted to show you guys this. This is something I'm getting ready to uh, start playing with here. And I'm uh, trying to get a game plan of how I want to do it. And I've pretty well got it figured out. And I'm going to uh, explain to you what I've got and what we're going to do here. So we've got two clamps right here. And what these are, are fire extinguisher clamps that clamp onto a roll cage in a race car. And they're, they're actually really nice. They're, uh, they look like they're fully CNC machined. And what the problem is, is that the, uh, here's the fire extinguisher here. They said obviously what it is is that not all fire extinguishers are the same size. So they uh, they had bought these, and then a while later they picked them up a fire extinguisher from the speed shop. And the clamps are too small. This actually belongs to a uh, buddy of mine at work. He's into the race car stuff, and and uh, this. This is actually not even his, this is actually for one of his buddies. So this is one of those uh, classic buddy do things, you know. Hey man, can you can you fix me up? So of course I can fix him up, I'll see what I can do. So uh, anyway, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here, there's a couple different ways you can do this. One way you can do it is in the forge all chuck in the lathe. You can chuck that and uh, get it bump, get the face bump true and indicate it and bore it out. And that's actually probably, uh, for me, an easier way to do it in a faster way. But I decided for video purposes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in the middle of the machine. I'm gonna use my little boring head. I haven't got to show that yet in any of my work. So uh, this is my little boring head I'm gonna use here. This is one of the ones I have. This is the small one. I've also got a great big one, like a Criterion. But this uh, this will work good here. 
I've already got a nice long tool that I can stick out of there. So what I believe I'm going to do to approach this job is the, the back side, you know, you see they clamp on. And I believe this is supposed to be 1 and 5 eighths. It's probably for that 1 and 5 eighths OD tubing, race car chassis stuff. What I want to do is actually machine me a shaft, a little stub shaft, that both of these can clamp to and keep them centered up. And I'll do both of them at the same time. So I'll turn me a piece of shafting that both of these will clamp to. And I'll, I'll have that mounted in the middle of the machine. And then I'll probably come in here on the sides and just put me a couple toe clamps here on each side of it to uh, hold them down. I'll, I'll put them on some parallels and pull them down and it'll be clamped on the back there too. Center it up and uh, pour it out. So what I'm going to do to build this piece back here, I got a piece of uh, cold roll right here. This is 1 and 11 sixteenths. I'm going to cut me a piece off. I'm going to turn it to, to fit this. And uh, I found me a little piece of flat bar here, and I'll probably drill me a hole in it, and I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna weld it on like so. And once I get it welded on, I'm gonna chuck this shaft back up in the lathe and face this off so that it's flat. And then I'll be able to set it on the mill table, put me a clamp on it, and uh, have my stub shaft sticking up here. And then these clamps will be sitting over off of it just like so. So that's the project for today and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. Okay, first thing I had to do was uh, make me a little washer to take up the gap here. This is a 1 8 slot and uh, I could have used some washers in there but um, that means they would have stuck out the side and I'm wanting to stack these together. So what I did, I just found a, uh, I found a little piece of 1-8 brass flat bar and uh, cut me two pieces, 3 eighths long on the little power hacksaw and drilled a hole. And uh, I actually stuck them in here and uh, transfer punched them. All right, I'm gonna have to do some filing. Still got a little edge on there, but you can see, you can stick these up in there like so. Then I can run the uh, set screw back down in there and uh, use the uh, finger nut here to clamp them tight. That'll make them nice and snug where I can clamp them together. Alright, I got the piece of cold roll in the lathe and I decided I'm going to try out that new insert that Tom Lipton gave me. That CNMGP or CNGP 430 insert. I'm just taking uh, about a sixteenth off of this, so pretty light cut, so I'm going to see how it does. We'll go ahead and give it a face cut too. Breaking them chips off easy. Oh yeah, man, that did a beautiful job. All right, let's take a uh, an OD cut. Got it in about a 10,000 speed, somewhere close to that. It's about a, yeah, 9,000s. I'm just gonna take this to uh, 
one and five eighths because I know that's about what it's going to be there. All right, Here's another forty three. Slinging them off there. That insert's creating a nice positive cut on it. Not a lot of pressure. I like it, Tom. It did good. All right. That's feeling like it's fitting it nice. So I think that's what it is, is uh, one and five eighths. It could probably stand to maybe have one or two off of it, just so it's not so tight, but I think I'll just hit it with some emery and uh, we'll call it done. See what I finished it at. One and five eighths on the money. Fine. All right, Tom, I like them. I, th I guess I'm going to have to spend some money and uh, pick me up a few of these. that's good enough for the government work let her cool and I'll uh, chuck it back up and uh, face the back side of that plate off all right I got the piece chucked up it's nice and cool now and I'm gonna go ahead and do a face cut and uh, I swapped out my other insert that I was using back in here because I didn't want to 
take a uh, chance tearing up that one that Tom gave me. I'll just come in here and touch off and then, uh, then move it on back. flat still actually All right, it's pulled a little out there pretty good I think I'll go with that I took uh, 40 thousandths just need to file the edge and uh, that'll work right there all right getting ready to set her up there's the bottom We've got it nice and flat deburred just gonna stack a couple of these uh, clamps here Checking to make sure I can get my wrench in there. I need to find a couple parallels. All right, I guess I'll just uh, I'll put one here, and then I'll put one over here on this side, just because it's it'll take up the uh, the space there where the two slots are. set up some strap clamps on it. 
Okay, I got a couple of the uh, little toe clamps pulling it down. Got those snugged up, so we're ready to go. I'm just got I got the coax in, and uh, gonna do do some indicating, and I'm just gonna line up on the uh, the top clamp here, and uh, get it get it centered up. And there's a you know because of the slot right here, it makes the indicator jump pretty hard when I go all the way across. So I'm probably just gonna go. I'll just keep moving it back and forth through here. Try not to block the view of the camera and end up hitting it anyway. Alright, I think that's going to put us close enough what we're doing. That's uh, basically zero and zero. There's one and one. Alright, so I'm going to call that done right there. And let me get the uh, boring bar set up now. All right, I got it ready to ready to go, centered up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my tool stuck in here. This is a piece of high speed that I've ground. You know, a chip breaker tool like I like. I've just hung me a fresh radius on the corner, so it should do a good job. And I'm just gonna stick the tool in here and run the head down, and just let it just rest against the uh, the bore. Now snug it up. So that'll be, I've already got the bar set on zero. So, all right, that'll work there. Now, I just checked this and they've got this uh, board to uh, four inches, five thousandths. And I just mic'd the uh, fire extinguisher itself. Looks like the OD of the uh, of the extinguisher is actually four and a quarter, uh, but I mic'd it at uh, four inches, two hundred forty-five thousandths, down to four inches, two hundred forty thousandths. So there's a little bit of variation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bore these to uh, four and a quarter, four inches, two hundred fifty. You know, if it, plus or minus a couple thousandths, what I'll shoot for. But I'm gonna try to hit it like uh, you know 250. So, and I believe this head, I believe this uh, boring head reads uh, every line is a thousandths. Now it's got like you know the first number is five, but there's actually ten lines in between it. So I believe you know if I read it to five, that's actually ten thousand. So I have to kind of double what I'm taking when I'm reading the numbers, or just count the lines. So we're going to start with um, one full revolution, which is 25 on the dial, but that should take 50 thousandths off of it. All right. Get my glasses and uh, a little bit of Cutting oil. I guess we'll uh, we'll use the little spill master here. And here we go. It looks like it's pulling a good chip.
Okay. All right, so that should have been about 50. Let's see what we got. It's about four to 60, so that was right on. All right, so I'm just gonna keep making some um, 50 thousandths passes. I'm comfortable with that. I don't wanna try to hog it all one time. Wrong way. I usually like to come down and just touch it with my tool and then just back off a, a touch and then go ahead and engage the feed. All right, so I'm just gonna keep chipping away at it here. All right, a couple more cuts, and uh, I'll be uh, getting there. Like I got a visitor. Uh, hey, dude. Uh, video. <laughs> yeah, I got oh, a video YouTube. going. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> it's like my buddy Gil come by to pay me a visit. Go back to work. Hey, I'm just over here doing some boring on the uh, on the mill machine, dude. Nice. cuts and I'll be finished up with. So what is that piece for? Those are some uh, fire extinguisher plants. That uh, fire extinguisher. Oh, nice. like they, uh, they came a little too small to fit that one so they asked me if I could bore them out. Is that one plant or two plants at a time? That's two of them. Nice. Both of them together. I got a little jig there that I stabbed up this morning. I guess I'll learn all this in the video. Yeah, let's see it in the video. I've got it all in there, man. Finish this cut right here. Yeah, it's doing pretty good, man. I haven't got to do a little uh, video with the boring head yet, so I thought this would be a good one. Show the YouTube crowd. That a bomb could do some slick shit, man. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, I'm learning, man. All right. There we go. All right, you want to see if we can solve the world's problems? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, had a my buddy Gil come by and uh, paid me a visit, and uh, we hung out a little while and. Uh, Talked about some things and uh, had a good time. So uh, he just left and I'm actually, uh, I'm down to my last cut on these clamps here. I'm just trying to get some of these chips out of the way. And uh, so I'm down to my last cut and I'm gonna read these uh, calipers upside down just like they were uh, not intended for. And uh, I'm getting about four inches, 212. Okay, I keep getting about the same reading here. All right, so I'm gonna take, what's that, about uh, 38 thousandths. 
I'm going to dial in 38 thousandths and that should put me about uh, four and a quarter on the diameter there. Alright, so you got to be careful on this boring head because it will read double of what you're looking at unless you actually count the lines physically. So I'm going to go um, five, but that's actually ten. So I'm going to go ten, twenty, thirty, and I'm going to read eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be 38 there. Snug it back up. Here we go. adding a little cut and all it is my finished cut hopefully <coughs> just want to keep it good and lube It's hard reading these things upside down. All right, I'm getting four inches, 251. So I'm gonna call it, all right. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm, I've got it where I want it and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take them out and I'll just I'm going to use my hand scraper and uh, come around here and, and uh, dress up these corners by hand with the uh, you know the little hand little uh, scraping tool and we'll try them out on the tank see how they fit alright guys well I just got her finished up and uh, the clamps fit thankfully I didn't have to set them back up and do them again. And uh, they, they actually fit pretty good. And I went ahead and uh, I scraped them with my scraping tool. And I went ahead and hit them with my uh, air grinder with a little flap wheel to kind of remove the sharpness of the uh, the chamfer that I scraped on there. So, like I said, they, they're actually, they're fitting. The, the tube is not perfectly round, but the clamps are fitting and you know, they, being a machinist, you know, machinists usually tend to make things a precision fit. Uh, those things probably should have been another five or ten thousandths bigger, but it's always easier to take something out instead of putting it back. So I'm, I'm always looking for that close precision fit, and that's what was going through my mind when doing these. So, you know, like this top side up here is actually a little bit close. I mean, it goes on and on, on and off, but you know, it's a it's a close fit. So they'll work, and uh, you know what? This is a government job. I'm hooking somebody up. I'm helping somebody out, so they can get their fire extinguisher on, and it'll work. So that's uh, that's good enough. It, it'll 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 serve its purpose. And I don't know if this is something that they're going to be taking in and out of the damn car if they're going to hook one of those fogging systems up to it or what but uh job done and i'm considering it complete the clamps tighten up good and they don't and they don't move so they uh they worked out for what they wanted they wanted to fit the uh, fire extinguisher and that's what i did uh, they're, they're a little bit snug, but I think they'll work just fine. So another job down, another one complete. 
and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, move on to the next thing. But uh, it's a uh, Saturday evening, so I'm gonna go enjoy my Saturday evening now. Probably uh, fix me something to eat and have me a drink. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you next time. All right, later.